do you stop gagging at the dentist? And what are some tips you can use to help your appointments go smoother? Here are 10 tricks you can try next time you're at the dentist. Number one. Breathe through your nose. This is a common tip to help with gagging. When you're breathing through your mouth, the air going across the roof of your mouth can actually kind of tickle it and induce the gagging effect. So try your best to breathe through your nose. Number two, try numbing throat spray or topical anesthetic. You can actually buy over the counter numbing throat spray. It's typically marketed for people that have a sore throat. It has benzocaine in it, which can cause a temporary numbing effect. Your dentist will also have topical anesthetic, which is like a gel. And sometimes placing that on the roof of your mouth can also help. Number three, humming. I know this one might sound a little bit weird and it might be a little bit embarrassing to hum in the dental office, but it's very hard to hum and gag at the same time. You may not be able to do this one while the dentist is actually working on you, but this one is really great for when you're getting your dental x-rays done. So try it next time you're at the dentist. Number four, place salt on the tongue. So I haven't actually personally tried this one, but a lot of people say that sometimes placing salt on the tongue can inhibit that gagging reflex. If you want to try this one out, maybe bring a little packet of salt to your next appointment. Number four, the lake trick or what we call distraction. So I personally like this one. I myself am a severe gagger, so I use this one myself. So when you're in the dental chair, lift your leg and hold it there while they're maybe taking the x-rays or taking an impression. Uh, sometimes people like to make little circles with their foot and kind of focusing on that gets your mind off the procedure and distracts you. Number six, acupuncture points. So I've heard a lot of patients say that this actually does help them. Uh, so there's an acupuncture point right here in this little groove uh, below your lip. And uh, some people say that pushing that with your thumb um, helps with a gagging reflex. They also say pushing right in front of your ear. So maybe something different you can try next time and see if that works for you. Number seven, local anesthetic. So when getting a filling done, uh, most likely you will be numb for that procedure. Uh, in certain cases, the dentist may actually numb uh, your lower jaw, we call that a block. It also numbs half of your tongue and half of your lip. So having um, the tongue numb really suppresses that urge to gag. Your dentist may also numb the roof of your mouth, which will help a lot. Number eight, rubber dam. So a rubber dam is basically a thin sheet that goes over the tooth and it helps isolate the area that the doctor is working. It's really nice though because it helps catch a lot of the water and having something that's physically protecting your throat makes a lot of patients feel more comfortable. Number nine, practice. Just lightly take your toothbrush and kind of touch it to your palate and work on breathing through your nose. Over time, you can practice putting a little bit farther back. It also helps to practice brushing your tongue. And number 10, sedation. Nitrous oxide, or commonly called laughing gas, is another option you can try. It's mainly used uh, for people with anxiety to help them feel more comfortable, but it can also help uh, people that are gaggers. There are other types of sedation, which we've talked about in another video, and I'm going to post that down below if you're interested in learning more about it. I know a lot of patients struggle with this. So I hope this gave you some new tricks you can try at your next appointment. Uh, just know that this is a completely normal response. Some people are just more sensitive than others. If you guys have any other tricks that you've used that have worked, please um, share them down below. Thank you so much for watching.